Hey everybody. So in today's video, I want to do kind of a recap of thesis statements and how to strengthen our thesis statements. So I think for the most part, um, people are doing a, a pretty good job on their thesis statements, but they could be better. And after looking at your rhetorical analysis papers, after looking at your evaluation papers, um, we need to tighten this up. And the reason I really want to spend some, uh, just a little bit more time uh, tightening this up is because your thesis statement is the lifeblood of your entire paper. It is the heart and soul of your entire paper. If your thesis statement isn't good, then the rest of your paper falls apart. So, you know, fill in whatever analogy you want with that, but uh, you really have to have a strong thesis statement, especially when you're dealing with argumentation. Okay, if you don't have a good basis, a, a cornerstone for your paper with your thesis statement, it's just going to suck. So um, let's fix these, shall we? So I've got a list of different thesis statements. Um, I modeled these. These are all related to visual argument papers, but I modeled them based on things that I saw in your rhetorical analysis papers and uh, in your evaluation papers. So don't worry, um, I'm not calling anyone in particular out. I wouldn't do that to you. That's just wrong. But um, hopefully we can all use this as a learning experience. So here we go. And for each one of these examples, I want to basically talk about why it's not good and how it could be better. So here we go. The first one says, we see the main differences in the way they use the type, coloring, and background. These reveal why Skittles overall has the far better advertisement. Okay, so first, it doesn't even have the right amount of criteria. Type and color are two of the criteria, yeah. Background isn't. And there were four criteria, not three. So that's a problem. Uh, the use of first person. We don't see anything. Don't use first person. Okay. Um, also, they. Who, who's they? What two ads are you specifically talking about? Okay. Um, these reveal why Skittles overall has the far better advertisement. Far better advertisement opposed to who? Who are you comparing Skittles to? Also, make sure your thesis statement is one sentence. These papers are short enough that your thesis should be one sentence. Um, there's, I mean, there's just a lot wrong with this one. Hopefully you see all of that. Um, don't use first person, make your thesis one sentence, make sure you mention both products or both companies, make sure that you mention all four correct criteria. That's always a helpful uh, thing to do. And yeah, so that's what's wrong with the first one. Let's talk about the next one. The following ads are each from different soda companies trying to advertise their product. They both use graphics, color, text, and information to persuade you to drink them. Okay, so a lot of uh, similarities between this one and the previous one as far as what's wrong with it. I do like that they don't use first person. That's nice. Um, but again, one sentence, please. That's two. Um, you don't have to say the following ads. Uh, that's, it's redundant. I know that they're the following ads because you're talking about them. And I'm assuming, since you're talking about them in your intro, that you're going to be talking about them in your paper. So it's redundant to say, you know, it's like going up to somebody and saying, I'm going to continue talking to you now. I've started talking to you. Now I'm going to continue talking to you. Like, what, why? Why would you say that? So uh, what soda companies are we talking about? At least, at least we know that we're talking about soda companies, but uh, which ones? Be specific. 
trying to advertise their product in what way are they trying to demonstrate you know be specific these two are trying to um say that theirs is the most refreshing or best tasting or healthiest you know what what are they going for what specifically are they going for beyond just selling you their soda what is the point of this ad is the point of this ad to uh get you to be afraid of the opponent's soda is it to see that their soda tastes better is healthier i mean what's the point they both use graphics, okay, color, okay, text, okay, and information. Um, information is not one of your criteria. Remember, it's type, color, space, and graphics to persuade you to drink them. Mm, okay, so this one is slightly better than the previous one. Um, at least they tell you four criteria, even if one of them's wrong. Um, and at least they tell you what the point was-ish to get you to drink them, I guess. Uh, but I'm sure if you were to look a little bit deeper, you would find more cause or more point to the ad than just eat our product. Um, how do they want to convince you to eat their product? Do they want you to... Uh, think that their product is going to make you stronger or happier or more attractive. Um, it's going to fill that empty void in your heart. I mean, what are they going for? You know, the Coca-Cola polar bear commercials that they do every Christmas. The whole point of that is to give you the warm fuzzies. You know, polar bears have absolutely nothing to do with Coca-Cola. So why use them? Because they want you to be thinking about the holiday season. You know, they're basically saying North Pole without saying North Pole. Um, and, you know, they're trying to associate their product with the holiday season. That's what they're trying to do. So anyway, next one. There are many points that were made with the specific ads, whether the ad is pro-gun or anti-gun, due to the responsibility that is believed to have ta been taken for this event. Wow. Okay. Uh, first, where are the criteria? No criteria. Second, uh, what? be specific. So you have a pro-gun ad and an anti-gun ad, I'm assuming. What company is sponsoring the pro-gun ad? Is it the NRA? Is it some gun store? Um, who's doing the anti-gun ad? You know, is it an organization? Is it the government? I mean, what's what's going on? So, and then you say mm, there are many points. D don't don't do that. Um, if you're going to reference specific points in your thesis, which I wouldn't recommend doing, um, if you're going to do that, you need to be specific. Don't say there are many reasons, there are many points. Be specific. Tell me the four criteria. Wow. Next one. The following advertisements are two car brands, Ford and Chevy, saying that they are the best cars available with the help of type, color, space, and graphics. Yay, we have the four criteria, and they're correct. So happy. Um... Yeah, this one's not terrible. Again, you don't need to say the following advertisements. Uh, again, that's redundant. You could just say Ford and Chevy each state that their cars are their best available cars on the market with their ads through their use of effective or ineffective or somewhat effective type, color, space, and graphics. So with this one, Again, you want to be specific. Are these ads effective or not? Now, this thesis does some really good things. It tells us what the two companies are. Great. It tells us what the correct four criteria are. Also great. But it doesn't tell us, are they or are they not effective? I need to know. 
Ford and Chevy have an effective ad. Ford and Chevy have ineffective ads. Ford's ad is effective. Chevy's ad is ineffective. I don't know. You tell me. Um, I don't know what I was thinking with this. I, I think I was coming up with it. You can just ignore that. Okay. Oops. These two ads both present the soda as a soda that is meant for a good time and that that you would want to drink their brand to enjoy your activity the most. They do this by their ads use of type, color, space, and overall images. Again, we have the four criteria used correctly. Yay. Um, all of this, I don't know what this is. I guess this is their attempt at telling me what the ads are trying to do. But uh, this is way too long-winded. Also, which two soda brands are we talking about? Also, make this one sentence. So Coke and Pepsi present each of their respective sodas as fun and refreshing through their use of A, B, C, and D. Sorry, Coke and Pepsi each effectively uh, advertise their brands as refreshing and um, good for a good time through their use of A, B, C, and D. That's what I would do. Something like that. The following ads emphasize just how great of rivals these companies are. Both are overall effective in their use of text, space, color, and use of graphic images to get their point across. Again, um, got the correct four criteria, so good. Uh, I have no idea what ads you're talking about. And it's two sentences. At least it tells me their effectiveness and the correct four criteria. So we're getting there, we're getting there. But what two ads are we talking about? Again, don't assume that I know. Okay, just because you know doesn't mean that I know. They stray apart in terms of effectiveness as the Coke ad was effective while the Pepsi ad was terribly ineffective. They both convey how effective they were with the use of type, space, color, and graphics. Getting there, um, one ad is said to be effective, one ad is said to be ineffective. We have the use of the four criteria. Um, we have the two different companies. So I know it's Coke and Pepsi. I know that one is effective, one is ineffective. I have the four criteria. What I don't have is what they were trying to convey. What is it that they were trying to say? What was it that Coke was trying to say? What was it that Pepsi was trying to say? Coke, um, the Coke ad was more effective than the Pepsi ad in conveying a message of refreshing taste through its use of A, B, C, and D. That'd be, that would be much better. The following two visual ads take different approaches to the subject of gun control to achieve their claim. The visual advertisements both effectively argue their use of graphics, text, color, and image use. Again, Got the four criteria, yay. Um, I don't know which two ads we're talking about. Uh, who are the companies? Um, I'm assuming they take different approaches since they're different advertisements, so that's a bit redundant. You need to state the effectiveness, which is there. The, oop, let me undo that. The visual advertisements both effectively argue their use. Effectively argue what? This needs to be merged with this. And actually, honestly, I would take this out and I would just say the visual advertisements, well, I would specify what advertisements I'm talking about. Both effectively argue whatever it is they're trying to argue through their use of A, B, C, and D. Okay, almost done. 
Each ad, while different in their sides and purposes, conveyed that their perfume is better through their use of type, color, space, and image. Got the, gra got the uh, criteria. I have no idea what perfumes we're talking about. I have no idea what they were trying to do in their ads. Um, and I don't know if you're saying that they were okay or if they were effective or not. So tell me the names of the perfumes. Tell me, were they both effective? Were they both ineffective? Was one effective, one wasn't? At doing what? Through A, B, C, and D. Okay. Through the uses of text, space, color, and overall image use, one of the ads far surpasses the other. Uh, way too vague. What ads are we talking about? What companies are we talking about? Uh, you imply that one is effective and one isn't. That's good. You give me the four criteria. Also good. What are we talking about, though? Effective at doing what? And what companies are we talking about? Well, these visual ads come from two different companies. What companies are we talking about? Be specific. Well, these two visual ads come from two different companies that both use the elements of type, color, space, and image use to effectively persuade their audience. At what? What visual ads are we talking about? What companies? What are they trying to convince us about? At least you got the criteria. And then last but not least, these two specific ads from Coke and Pepsi yay, could not be more opposite. While both have radically different perspectives, they both utilize a variety of elements to create an overall effective and impactful statement. So we have the companies, Coke and Pepsi. We have their effectiveness. One, uh, they're both effective, apparently, um, at doing what? What are they effective at doing? Making you thirsty, making you think there's their soda tastes better than the other, making you feel pride in owning a Coke or Pepsi. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. And the biggest sin of all on this one is what criteria are we talking about? Image, space, color, and graphic. I'm sorry, image, space, color, and type. I went backwards. So anyway, um, I know that that was a lot of examples. Uh, hopefully that gets the message across. What I need to see in your thesis statement for this paper is a specific on add one, a specific on add two. What are they? This Ford car commercial, this Chevy car Ad. I'm sorry, this Ford card ad, this Chevy car ad. What's their effectiveness? One is effective, one isn't. Both are effective, both are ineffective. You tell me. So I need to I need the names of the products or companies. I need their effectiveness overall. I need the four criteria listed out in the order that you're going to describe them. So Ford's Ad is far more effective at making you feel safe in their new luxury sedan than Chevy's competing luxury sedan due to the advertisement's use of color, space, type, and image. The end. So I need to see something like that one sentence at the end of your intro. Okie dokie.